for those who saw my last attempt at uh, doing something with the Tokido, this time I've decided to take this apart here, cut that down, and then another piece of metal cuts the shape, and that then will hopefully go in there, and that will go down the Tokido bolt onto the torpedo and I think the only thing left to do then is for the torpedo to rip the motor out because uh, I think that should be solid. The other one was great, they, the skeg lasted really well. Uh, unfortunately um, the bottom, the plastic that it adheres to on the motor just snapped off and I lost the skeg. Oh. So we now have attempt three, take three on this. The idea is I've made the skeg it is not plastic, should not break, should not come off and also it's fixing this to the body. This was a, a spreader clip that went around the mast so that's been modified and then Andy kindly welded this on for me it's stainless steel so it wasn't easy and then the idea now is to clip that to there We'll find a way to secure it, which is the main thing. I could try and bend that round, so push that down further and bend it round, I think, and then tie it at the top, see whether that works without drilling into the actual body of the motor. We can have a look right, at this. Anyway. Try and get this to fit as best I can. It's just I've also got to remember I've got to keep this straight as well. When you've only got basic tools for the job, uh, trying to do something like this is not easy. But having said that, you know, I mean, it is to see whether it works really and, and try and get it to fit as best possible. It took ages to try and get it right. Um, and even then it wasn't right. But the main thing is I was able to secure it onto the um, motor itself, which is what I wanted. After several attempts at hammering, obviously the, the more I banged it down, the wider uh, the curve became. So the idea now was to clamp the curve in, try and bend it around the motor. Uh, again, not, not the best way to do it, but you know, needs must unfortunately, and I'd rather have something they function rather than look good. Um, uh, certainly better than plastic, whichever way it goes. Marking really where that needs to be flattened out to about there. I'm going to take some doing that really. I need a proper workbench and some wood hammers. That's a lot better, a lot closer that. Now I need to bend it here now, coming a long way with that. Uh, Good stuff. I knew the shoe last had come in handy at some stage. Uh, had that, well, in fact, I think it was my father's, not too sure, but had it for a long time. Now, correction, it belonged to Maggie. Uh, having said that, I mean, 
it, it, it helped me do the job, but it didn't have the right sort of... I couldn't get the bends particularly well on it because it was all curved. No real straight edges on it. Back to the clamp. I haven't flattened it sufficiently enough at the top there. And hopefully get the clamp in now. I've got it. Well, I've got it to fit ish. It's up the back, but I don't mind that because it rises, and that that will give me. Hopefully, it won't make a difference. I mean, it'll use a bit more power to propel it, but I'd rather have the power. I'd rather lose the power than have these things snap every five seconds. Well, it's been out been in the mud did well today uh, obviously it feels different it's not perfect but it certainly keeps it uh, certainly stops the propeller from catching anymore we hit a few uh, high spots as we were going out fortunately the skag just took it and cut through it really and the propeller didn't get touched at all so that's great well, let's hope that this modification, Series 3, works. Because uh, I am literally getting the end of my tether, as they say, uh, with the Torquedo. Having spent a lot of money on and invested in something that literally falls apart at the first opportunity to hit a bit of uh, mud or or. or catch on, on uh, a rock with the plastic uh, skeg it's it's just it is silly and uh, all the other engines including some of the uh, electric um, trolling uh, motors they have metal skegs I, I just can't see why they've made such flimsy um, equipment for such an expensive motor but anyway hopefully this will last me now and I won't have any more problems with the Torquedo. I can say that the engine and the, the battery are brilliant. The rest of it is junk, to be honest with you. Absolute junk.